Greetings everyone, here's Ludwig and this is a game uh, The Great War Western Front. This is now episode 4 of my campaign as the uh, Central Powers against the uh, Entente. So it means Entente is British, French troops plus Belgian and all of his colonies. So the British they also have Canadian, Indian uh maybe australian forces and the french they have maybe pff, troops from algeria Alge morocco i don't know if they have this kind of unit separately but uh and normally also later on there's also normally chinese labor worker in the background making construction work for the entente and for this they promise normally to give Qingdao and Shandong back to China, but they already promised this to the Japanese, so there's always a mess. Uh, the Entente, they promise ever uh, independently, but uh, later they get all cheated. Only the Saudis get independent. And uh, they also promise Italy everything, and later they, it, they, I think they're getting some islands and uh, um, crater, but Compared to what they had originally be promised, it was only a small token. Anyway, this is Anton. They are all chiefless because they are lead they have the British on the side, so they are always evil people. And the Germans, they are always only misunderstand it. They always try to bring culture and a better order for the world. Anyway, so we arrive at February 1915. This is now the third month of the war. I took over the command. The game starts in December 1914. Uh, we had here some battles around Arras. I was able to destroy one hex, uh, one star, but uh, then later I don't attack more. I think the second turn, so the British rebuilt their positions. And the similar situation here in the source. Normally everywhere we had battles, some victories, some defeat, uh, at the end the front never changed. It's only I win 30 morale points and the Entente lost up to now 65 um, of their own morale points. I cannot see how much money they have. I think there's no way to see this now. I only realize that my budget is slowly increasing because I don't really find any um, uh, battle and bleed dry so I can also keep my supply situation all looks fine and but of course the main factor is that I don't invest any money in infrastructure so far I still keep and hold on good I also got some reinforcements we have here two conscript units so only for purely defense and uh, four additional normal infantry you can use them for defense and offense and then we have uh, still here this uh, order to kill some British units and uh, okay this is now they asked me to um, yeah, research this special uh, um, task uh, or equipment and then I will get some national will bonus but i would say 10 national will bonus is too little to really justify this taking uh i don't know exactly where they are i don't even know which it is this uh infantry because it was green ah uh, yeah here so far away how oh, i won't catch this in five turns I take any tier one, two, three, four. I, f I could get it if I really want this, uh, but uh, no, I don't think so. I think there's nothing really I need here so important. Hand grenade is maybe okay to destroy faster um, uh, heavy artillery or uh, heavy machine gun nests. But all of this is normally, I would say, for me, secondary. Uh, moral. Who needs moral? It's always a question of moral. Yeah, of course, moral is important, but 
I would say speed is important. Move faster. Uh, watch more far away. Uh, and shoot more far. That is and or or make more damage. That is important. And this is also maybe okay to get a sniper. This is maybe a boost. But I never had this, so I don't know. So I have one uh, science point. I will keep it. I still think I can go for more money and or for cheaper um, structure buildings. So far I have no issue with my defense. So long I don't get uh, pushed back, I think I don't really need to uh, invest. And I also don't must strike now. It's not really. I'm on the winning side of the war so far. Good. I have backup where I sense the backup. So first I must locate where is the enemy position where they maybe strike. And I see not really a focus point. Here are eight and here are eight. Okay. Here is for here's a share point. So I need reinforcements here. I have here already one conscript and two normal. And here are four normal. So I will take maybe one normal, send it to this one. Then I have now three normal plus one conscript. Then I can send one additional conscript. And here are also eight. Oh. Here are five. Hmm. Mets have four. But this looks weak. So I don't think... I think this is more attack on this hexes. Not so much on Mets. Mets is strong enough. Five is a little too much. I would say. German infantry. German infantry. Four is the minimum I need. I need at least 50% of the... Uh, in defense compared to the attacker. So they have eight, I need at least four. I think this is okay. Mets I can normally take uh or I can take here normally two uh, to make sure I make it like this. I call one guy here, one guy here, and conscript guy here. Then I have still four normal infantry, so I can create a new schwerpunkt. Uh The best benefit is normally still send them here because here I can attack uh, three hexes, so I always can normally find an easy enemy. But uh, I can only make one attack, so it will be maybe a little wasteful. Hmm. Maybe here's also a good position, there's three. So I will say two guys go here. And this looks all not so strong and two more here so i have no strategic uh, reserve but normally the strategic because i can send from one hex to every hex on the map this is also a little gamey i would say but of course this is one month and one month you can always go from one hex to everywhere on the map here if it's a weekly game i would say okay you must maybe reduce it you can or maybe go only maximum 10 hexes or something like this I still also don't know if it's good to play here per month and not per week. Ah, but okay. So, a lot of talking. Where, what I can do now. I must kill some British. This I don't care. So, British are here. Uh, here are the Canadian. I don't know if they, I think Canadian count like British. And I have here uh, a lot of firepower. Four normal. One elite. And one for defense. So I think we can do this. I think this is uh, possible for me to attack. I, it's called a stalemate, but uh, this is okay. I have a lot of artillery, and I can use the heavy guys, the elite troopers, to storm the front. So let's try.
Here is still winter? Oh, okay, I thought we are already... Ah, yeah, we are in February. That is still winter. So... Okay, so the no man's land is very big in this case. A, B... B again is a little forward compared to A, so I will normally like to go for A first. The problem is only if my artillery can attack so far away. Let me check. Light artillery, ah, just barely in range. Ugh. So I must maybe bring my artillery. Ah, yeah. If I bring them here, I can cover everything. Then I'll do this. Four is enough. Good. First trenches. Cover my artillery a little. So this is maybe enough. I have one more. Now, f uh, of course, because I attack, I will use now elite infantry, and you can see already normal infantry five, conscripts only one, elite infantry ten. So they are even double the price than normal infantry. So f I will normally not call them for reinforcements, but I will of try all 20. I have only 20 because one corp is always 20 squads maximum. Oof, and it cost me a lot of money. Uh, I need here some guys. Okay, this is all I have. Ah, uh, maybe I can do this. Fine, so all units fully out, so I think this is okay, fine. Uh, there is so big no man's land that I need some scouts. For this I can maybe use normal infantry. Uh, Maybe if it's up to no here. Uh, maybe here. Good. Some normal infantry. Maybe here. So, looks like no attack from the British so far. Good. Good, I have a early warning if there's enemy strike coming out of B. The same here with uh, A position. Ah. There was... Oh, they are coming. Maybe I can bring some reinforcements here. Ah, these are Canadian troops. Yeah, looks like. Luckily, I was in position first, so I catch their scouts before they catch me. Oh, there's more coming. Oh, there's a lot of more coming. Oh, they're attacking me.
So I wait now first. Maybe I can use some artillery, but they will normally only slow them down a little. And I can shoot on them, but they cannot shoot me because they are suppressed and I can attack them. Oh, this is a nice event for me. This uh, blocks my original plan to attack. But uh, if the enemy is coming out. What I can kill you in open field, I don't must later attack her in the trenches. Ah, oh, there's someone hiding there. And luckily the, P the Anton only attacked me here at the same t and not attack me at both sides because I mean the PC the AI can always handle everything at the same time and I only can control a small amount of troops. So there is some heavy machine gun and the Anton already consumes a lot maybe a third of the whole strength. So no, my idea was normally to attack on B side, but now after the enemy lost so many troops, I maybe also attack now on A side. First, prepare the attack. can make a scouting attack. Ah, there's a second machine gun. Oh, there's a trench is empty. And I can maybe enter the trench. Then I have a forward position already. 
Nice, so I know exactly where is the enemy. This will help me. Oh wait, I take this elite troopers. This guys can keep here. So, go for this trench, this trench, here, and here first. Yeah. Looks okay for me. Better suppress this again. My artillery fire is not even strong enough to destroy the machine gun. Oh, there's something not inside the trench. Okay. I mean, the enemy already lost a bunch of his units in his own attack. Not so sure why he tries this, but of course he won't maybe catch me off guard. This is why you need always to prepare your defense first, I would say. They will, I mean, sometimes attack is better than defending. In this case it was uh, maybe a slaughter for the enemy. So this uh, guys are a little burnt out. I still have more troops here. Let's see, maybe there's not much. No enemy fire? Where? Nothing? No enemy left? Crazy. Oh, the first attempt failed, but now the canals are nearly completely wiped out. Oh no, the elite did it. Okay, nearly too easy. Is there a trap? Is this a trap? I don't know. This trench are all empty, so all the defender attacked me, and now everything's maybe easy walk. Yeah. Okay, here's a machine gun. Two machine guns. 
I can use my autonomy. And then move in. Ah yeah, if I shoot this, you can see them here still firing. But you don't have really time to watch all of this. Yeah, what this game is missing, or better, not missing, is of course the blood and all the dirty stuff flying around and the really painful screaming. Oh, there's still some MB fire. This is why you need elite infantry. I think it's really hand to hand combat, they are much stronger. And they simply don't break in mobile normally. This is why I would say in every hex you need at least, you don't need more than one, but at least I think every hex where you want a tech, you need at least one elite uh, uh, regiment to support your attack. It's only for attack. I think for defense it's really not a big changer and they are really too expensive to uh, base your defense on it. You cannot call them in for reinforcements. 20 supplies is a lot. Good, so this is now a total victory but I killed no British forces, only Canadians. This was a few, so Canadians don't count like British. Ah. This is maybe the best uh, battle I had so far. And uh, the Canadians simply have no equipment, no training. There are maybe the support weak forces. Maybe this, maybe Canadians count like uh, like weak forces or weaker. They're cheaper. I don't know. But they are calling official basic infantry. And they also have some radar infantry. So this is elite infantry. A little elite stuff some heavy artillery getting destroyed and I lost nearly 1000 of my elite troops uh, I don't know if there's a difference between elite troops and raider troops but I think this is more or less I think in Germany they call them elite infantry and the British they call raider I don't know anyway this was a total disaster for the allies I uh, went normally on town and uh, I can create here 16 morale victory points and the Antoine lost 18. That is terrible. It's cost me only 250, so even this is a cheap attack for me. And uh, if I understand it now correctly, it is a tech, I must pay 100 supplies, but I get at the same time 300 supplies back, so I. I I pay three, 100, get 300, so it's a plus 200 supplies for me. This is more or less, I think, like I conquer some supplies, or I don't know, or the government give me additional supplies for free, and I get 300 gold, but I pay 250, so at the end I make even some money out of this battle. So, only good for me.
So this is what I must spend and plus this is really going out. Unluckily there's not a really a better overview of what is coming and going in. But uh, I really believe that I just earn money and supplies. So that is a, a way to earn money here too. Even if you lose your own guys you can still win because I I steal from the Entente or whatever. Good, uh, then I still must kill some British forces, but where I can attack British forces? So this is really Canadian and not British. Okay. Uh, Ras is a little too strong. I have no good hex to attack. And then over uh, here, and this, here they also took over. But this is too strong. Here, German and elite infantry. This would be exactly the same situation. Yeah, uh, it would be the same situation. I have four, the enemy have only two. I could attack, why not? I could even make a double attack here. Mm, but now I have no backup forces more. Hmm. If I take, if I win here both battles, I can take the hex, but then my the front is open. Then I must shift some units around. Hmm. I will think about this. I think I keep this first a short episode. I will upload this, and then I you can simply give me some feedback if you think it makes sense to attack here more. Or better keep uh, the forces and see how the Entente attack me because I am very sure they have three heavy bunch forces all together so I'm, I'm for sure they want to attack Strasbourg. Uh, Elsass Lorraine, the German core province in the west, always belonging to Germany for hundreds of thousands of years before the French steal them. So, good. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.